Hey folks, Robbie Payne with Chrome Unbox coming at you today with a quick guide on how to install Chrome, or rather a specific version of Chromium built by Neverware, on your aging PC, laptop, netbook, or MacBook device. We'll talk briefly about what Cloud Ready is, who Neverware is, and what their aim is with this software, and then we'll give you a pretty brief how-to and get you going on your device of choice. So what is Cloud Ready? It's actually a specific build of Chromium OS, and Chromium OS is the open source version of Chrome OS that anybody can use for whatever they want to use it for. It is a specific build of Chromium OS by Neverware designed for school systems that need some admin functionality and need to replace aging, old, outdated, and slow PCs and or Macs. And so the idea here is you can deploy Cloud Ready onto a ton of machines, have some admin capability from an IT standpoint, and just pay a license fee for this software uh, to Neverware each and every year and quickly turn your uh, almost extinct line of devices into something that actually works is nice and fast. And we're going to talk about how all that kind of works. Uh, but I wanted to give you all some ideas to what they do. Um, and, and as part of this initiative, they actually offer it for free to people who want to use it on a single use case basis. Now you won't get any of the Google Admin Console stuff going on here because it's not really meant for that and honestly if you're using it in your house you don't need that anyway and so this could be a great replacement for your aging PC um, or an aging MacBook that you may not be able to get even any money out of um, you may be able to install cloud ready onto it and actually kind of bring it back to life which is really neat um, it's specifically what I've done with this PC here that's uh, quite a few years old um, it's got a core i5 uh, 8 gigs of RAM, so it's, it's a decent device, but the, it's the second gen Core i5, so it's an older processor. And it was really starting to struggle with Windows in general, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to give this a try. We'll make a video about it, and as you can see, I've already actually got Chrome OS, or Chromium OS, um, Cloud Ready specifically, already running on this device here. Um, and what we're going to do is reinstall it, because one of the caveats of this is, and there are very few, um, honestly it feels exactly like Chrome OS, but one of them is there's no power wash feature, so you actually have to uh, reinstall, which is beneficial because I can actually go through the whole process and show you. And the fun part about this little tutorial is I'm actually going to set up the entire process from a Cloud Ready PC. So we're going to take a Cloud Ready PC and basically remake another Cloud Ready PC as we show you the steps on how to go through and do this on your own device. Now, there's a link below that tells uh, exactly what devices are supported because they support quite a few. I want to say it's a few hundred devices at this point right now and the list continues to grow. If your device is not on here go ahead and try it because as you'll see here in a few minutes the USB part whenever we first set this up you actually can run this entire thing off of a USB stick and so as long as you have all the things together to get this thing going you can actually try it first if you like it and you're like hey I want to ditch Windows which is what I did with this device here you can go ahead and move forward with that. But if you want to run it off a of USB to try it out and, and decide that you don't want to, you're completely fine to do that as well. So let's dive in and talk first about the things that you're going to need in order to get this uh, install up and running. First, a computer from the list. There's a link down below. You can check to see if your device is on that list. If not, I would say go ahead and give it a try still. You need a USB stick, 8 or 16 gigs. We're going to download, so you will need, the Chromebook Recovery Utility. It is in the Chrome Web Store. And then you're just going to need some time and a little bit of patience. It doesn't take a ton of time, uh, but it does take a few minutes. So at this point, let's pretend this is any regular Chromebook or PC or MacBook. So I'm going to take you through instructions that would work on anything. Granted, again, this is basically Chrome OS running, because um, I thought it would be kind of neat for you to get to see a little bit of what Cloud Ready looks like actually in action and as I said before it looks identical to Chrome OS. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to get Cloud Ready and so if you go to www.neverware.com forward slash free download or if you just search Neverware or search Cloud Ready you're going to find this. Anyway once you get here for most folks a 64-bit is going to be what you want to go with um, if you do have old, old computer, Pentium 4 and before, I like the Core Duo, there's some MacBooks on the list that have that processor or if it's an Atom processor. So if it's a 32-bit processor, you need to get 32-bit. 
Um, I'm hoping at this point, if you're jumping into this, that um, you'll be able to identify those things on your computer. Mine is 64. Um, so you click this and the download's gonna start. Because it's a pretty large file, it's 590 megs. Um, I went ahead and just downloaded it before this so that we can move forward a little quicker. Next step, we're gonna go to the web store. So if we just type in Chrome Web Store, some people have it up here in their bookmarks. Um, I'm on Chrome OS, so it would be down here as well. Uh, but again, we're trying to treat this as if we are going from any operating system, Chrome Web Store, we need now the recovery utility. So we're just gonna type in Chrome recovery utility. First one, it's gonna ask if you wanna add it. Yes, of course you wanna add it. That's the whole reason we looked for it. And it is added. From there, we're going to click recovery. Instead of going through the get started process, we're actually gonna click the gear so that we can use a local image, which is the image that we just downloaded. So we want to use that. We're gonna click that, click open. It's gonna ask you to select the media. I've already put my USB stick here, so you would put it into your USB. At that point, if you haven't already, choose it. And this is asking if it's the correct media. I think it's a little bit large, it's 128 gigs, and so it's not sure what to do with that. Create recovery image. I'm not gonna click create now because that disc has actually already got this written. Um, this can take anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes, depending on how fast your machine is. I believe with this one, I wanna say it took about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, so it was relatively quick. Now, if you have a really old machine, it could take a little bit longer. So uh, just prepare yourself. You'll watch the progress bar go. When it's done, it'll say, hey, I'm done. Uh, you can eject me. And so we're just going to exit out at that point. And then depending on where you have installed this, if you've done this on your PC, leave the USB stick in there. Uh, we're gonna shut down and you're gonna restart and boot from the USB and we'll see how this works. Now it does take a little bit of time to write uh, or to, to write when, if you decide to move forward. We're gonna talk about that in just a second with the full install. But uh, apart from that, as long as you've got your computer set to boot from USB first, um, it's, it, it'll boot right up, no problem. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and power down. All right guys, after a few minutes, you should be booted up into what looks like Chrome OS, the welcome screen. Other than the fact that instead of the splash screen saying uh, Chrome OS that says cloud ready, the whole intro and setup process should feel very familiar. It's the exact same process. So I went ahead and got through all that kind of stuff uh, and got into um, into the setup running on this HP. And so this is running actually from the, uh, the USB slot. And we're going to look at how quickly it runs really quick uh, in just a second. A real quick note, um, if, if you put the USB stick in and went to boot and it just booted back into Windows, um, you, you probably need to do some research on the device you have. There's lots of different ways uh, to get into your BIOS, but you need to go into the BIOS and tell it to look for the USB first instead of booting from your hard drive. And so uh, there's a lot of information. There's no way I can cover all of it uh, now, but uh, tons of information on Google. If you were to go out and Google and figure out how to get into your BIOS, set that boot to USB first. And basically all that's doing is telling your computer look here first if you don't see anything go ahead and boot up from the hard drive but uh, you can tell it had to boot from USB and you can look up you know model number of your computer boot from USB drive click enter find an article uh, and set that bio stuff up and then this should you should get to this point with some relative ease um, I'll show you a couple things real quick again as you can see the entire interface looks exactly the same file browser um, all that kind of stuff your settings menu all the same um, the only thing you'll see different is right now this is on uh, Chrome 50 and so uh, stable is on 51 so it's a it's about a version behind so you're probably gonna run behind because obviously Neverware has to take uh, Chromium OS as it comes out and make sure it works with all their stuff before they push out their own updates but I'm gonna show you something real quick because as I started moving around this device uh, now with Chrome on it like I said it was insanely sluggy with uh, with with Windows, it, it was it was sluggish, it was uh, slow, it didn't perform very well. And once I got this on here, everything seems to move really really quickly. So I'm not going to go away from this while it's doing its thing because I want to give it its best shot to to really perform. Uh, but I can tell you while it's running, um, 
I really wanted to try to push it because it, it kept just kind of chewing up everything I was throwing at it. So I had seven 1080p videos running from YouTube. I had The Verge and Gadget, Android Central all open. I opened Pixlr, the full version of Pixlr, the Pixlr Express. I had Hangouts open, uh, Google Keep open. I had Shift Edit, my IDE running with a couple uh, PHP and CSS files open. And the thing just didn't have a problem. 24.8. I got 26.9 uh, the other day, so that's putting it up there Octane score-wise with my Pixel LS. And so that tells you, here we have a four or five year old, uh, and, and granted it wasn't brand new probably four or five years ago. When I bought it, it was it was a, a bargain basically. Uh, device over here that had gotten to the point where running Windows on it wasn't even practical. And now we have Chrome OS on here and this thing absolutely flies, no problem. Uh, it's quick, it's speedy, it's gorgeous and it runs really, really well. Um, and so, congrats to uh, the guys at Neverware, guys and gals. Um, Cloud Ready is, is legit, it works, it's awesome, and I hope this guide has helped you uh, figure out how to get this installed on your device. If you have any questions, uh, hopefully we can help you field those to an extent. Obviously, we're not tech support, and, and uh, uh, the, the forums at Neverware are really good. You can, I've found every answer to every question I've had so far in their forums. Uh, this is a great service and it's free so if you have an old computer lying around and want to take on a little experiment this isn't a huge deal um, jump in uh, and follow the instructions try it like I said it's it's no harm no foul if you don't like it and you turn this thing off yank the USB stick out you're back to Windows if you do decide that you uh, uh, want to keep it uh, over here in your settings since I'm running from USB now it says install cloud ready and I will tell you the partition on your USB is actually pretty small um, so you don't have a lot of room to work with technically um, and there may be some ways around that I didn't spend the time to look that up I may be able to partition this entire uh, USB drive and run it off there if so it runs so fast off USB it didn't bother me at all and these are USB 2.0 ports these aren't even USB 3 ports on here so it even has room to actually speed up the operations but if you decide, you know what, I don't want Windows on here anymore, I want to take full advantage of my installed hard drive, I don't want to boot from USB, all that stuff, you just click Install Cloud Ready and give yourself some time. It's going to take a little bit of time to do what it needs to do. Um, and there's two options, so I'm going to click Install Cloud Ready. And before we get started, um, yeah, it's telling you you're going to lose everything. If you're UEFI, if you don't know what this is, uh, I would say that you probably don't have a device like that. Um, I had to do some research on it and I honestly couldn't tell you what it is right now. I tried that on this device. I tried to do, do a dual boot so I could kind of have both at the same time and it failed pretty miserably. Um, but I got Cloud Ready back up and running off the USB stick and just did install standalone Cloud Ready, wiped out Windows. I have full uh, access to my hard drive when I'm not booted from the USB here and it runs uh, a little bit faster, uh, but not much really. Um, so, a couple of different options there, but I uh, hope some of you guys try this, and I hope it works out well for you, and I hope that maybe it can bring some life back to some aging uh, devices that you weren't sure exactly what you were going to do with. Guys, thanks for watching. Please uh, hit that like button down below and subscribe down below. The, um, we have videos that continually are coming. We're, we're going to continue doing more um, helpful videos like this and reviews and unboxings and all that kind of stuff. So uh, more subscribers, the better. More thumbs up, the better. Leave comments down below if you have any questions, and we'll try our best to get those things answered for you. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.